folks, welcome back to some more Sanren Kakarot Beach Beach Splash! On our last episode, we finished up the final Splash arc, and oh man, it was certainly something when it came to that DJ Ryoki fight! Now, before we continue henceforth with, well, this first set of Paradise episodes, let's read this out! Mr. K, I want to peek at all the Shinobi girls. I wonder if our pure, innocent viewers just might feel the same way. So let's show it all. The youthful drama that occurred behind the scenes of the P1 Grand Prix. Pay attention and let's splash. I let's. Now, I would also like to mention that I have completed both Cruel of Shinies and Summer Fest off screen. As to why? Why I did it with the intention of getting a bunch of Paradise Packs. I just simply wanted to accumulate some new cards for use in the story mode, and additionally, the reason why there's two sets of them complete is well due to the fact that I just wanted to get a decent spot for getting a bunch of packs, and Cruel of Shinies wasn't that good from what I can remember, but Summerfest was really good for getting a bunch of packs quickly. So, without further ado, let's hit the Bhutan. Because I haven't read anything in relation to the dialogue. I skipped it all, so it's still going to be very new to me. Right, so, I'm Yuyaki, leader of the Tono Tengu Shinobi group. Oh, so it's done in a similar way to the Shinobi Girl Hearts. That's nice. Not Yuyak, but Yuyaki. But that doesn't really matter. To be honest, I... I am in a severe bind right now. My girlfriend has gone missing. It all began with a little thing. While we were exploring the island, she said she wanted to take a break. As leader, I have a responsibility to solve the mystery of this island as quickly as possible and return to the village. Her request irritated me, and I lashed out at her. She became upset and flew away. I do not know where. The hidden village has few people my age, and there are fewer still I call friends. She was my only protector against the forces of loneliness. Aww. So here I am. Searching for her. The sea sparkles in the sunlight. She and I share a love of shiny things, but even now this beautiful sight dims as if in fog. Oh, so that's where Leo comes into this, huh? My search is of the utmost importance. Still, I cannot ignore a call for help. As the leader of the Tono Tango Shinobi group, duty calls. I indeed! So, let's sort out her loadout a little bit. Because she is level 10, because I just, well, simply have played as a ton of her off screen. I couldn't resist getting her maxed out. Leo is level 5 though, I believe, but I've just played way too much Yaki. As of present, I believe over a hundred missions? It's a bit much, I know. But let's read out her profile. A second year student and the leader of the Tono Tengu Shinobi group, she takes pride and responsibility in her role. Her normally calm personality completely changes when she takes up her weapons. She is always with her crow companion. Well, not in this scenario she ain't, but I think we'll start off with the gun that's on her R, I think. Even though I'm very much a fan of the dual pistols. Yeah. Why not some more of the spray gun, even though I'm not too big on it. And let's read this out. Yuyaki, this is troubling. What should I do? Uh, squirt down your buddy, apparently. Since it seems like you know her? Right, Cruel of Shinies Episode 1, A Friend's Revolt! Squirt down Leo. あなたのカラスに 
先祖代々伝わる金のブローチが取られてしまったのですあの子がそんなことを私の大事な宝物ですお返しください Oh, okay, so it's Nick and it's Bridge. Oh, gosh! No, it's her Bridge. Oh, no! Maybe using this gun was a mistake! Uh. Oh, so she said, let's have a fair fight, but then you brought a bunch of goods! Lies and deceit, women! Oh! Oh! But one thing I will mention about both Yak and Leo is that they have kind of like this first impression effect on me. Kind of similar to how I felt about Ryoki and Kafaru and Estepo. I saw them! And eventually I became enamored with them. Although not to the same extent as Kafru and Ryoki, because unfortunately these two new wave characters have played a very minor role in the story. And I wish we could get to see more of them! I mean admittedly one could just say we'll just play new wave in that regard. Here's the problem, it's only in Japan. And secondly, I have no clue where I could look to get more info about these characters. Because I really want to know more about their backstories. You know, I, I gotta get the complete package. Yeah, sure, for some it's like, hey, it's enough, I like the character's design and their initial personality. Nah, I want to delve deeper, and oh, we're uh, done. But I would definitely have to say that both Yuyaki's and Leo's voices are major selling points to me. I love how soft-spoken Yuyaki sounds and just how deep and sultry Leo sounds. They're just both just right to me. Can't say too much about Soji yet, though. I mean, Soji just really isn't doing it for me, out of the new wave characters. Well, let's see if we could get anything new here. I severely doubt it considering how many of these packs I've had once before, and yup, that's not new, but I don't remember getting it. Holy moly. Bashfulness indeed. Get some gloves on. <laughs> Plus, it's kind of interesting in a way, because both Ryoki and Kafru used a form of guns, both Yuyaki and Leo are, are using swords. Huh. And Yuyaki seems to have a bit of a duality to her, like Ryoki. Then first impressions, though. But anyway, let's hit the button. Right, so we're going to be changing up our weapon for this one. Oh, we're up against Homer and Hikaki. Yeah, even more reason to do so. Because I don't think we'll do too well with the spray gun. We were struggling in our one versus one match after all. Right. Well, I guess the grenade launcher in this scenario could be quite good. Yes. Also, if worse comes to worse, we will eventually read Leo's profile, but maybe after all this. Because I thought we would have gone to play as her by now. Because, well, she's on the cover of the Paradise episode, but I guess not. Anyway. Yuyaki, taking other people's things. I have to get them back right now. Hmm. The crow flew over that way. And what's that sound coming from over there? I don't know. Homer and Higaki, apparently. Maybe she's in the middle of her routine? Could be the case. Right, so Crow of Shinies episode 2. Don't want to miss it. Defeat Homer and Higaki. <laughs> フラッシュ。相手にとって不足はないな。4、3、2、1。で、ないな。私の刀がない。What?あそこでくるくる飛び回ってるカラスが持ってるで。ふ、みんな。かあかあと小馬鹿にして。へい、成敗してくれるわ
So how in the heck is the bird able to carry six swords? Yeah. What? Okay, the French, fine. Yeah. Maybe one sword, sure. But two, three, four? No, yeah. six of them? Possibly seven? Because Sumra does have a seventh one. What? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Oh. I, I didn't even realize you were there, love. Wait. You know Homura. No way this cannon? Well, I guess with Ayami, sure, but... No, what says Yuyaki? Or any of these new wave characters, bar Ayami, ever been mentioned in any of the first these titles? I'm missing out so much! I would need to know more about you lot, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Because I just want something to latch on to. Well, there is always the possibility of seven. Which I'm really hopeful for that I'll have the inclusion of these characters. Because the only inclusion of these characters prior to that, excluding New Wave, which isn't even a real inclusion, was that you could get their outfits in Estival Versus? I didn't really take that into consideration when I was thinking about these characters themselves, because it's just like, oh, they're DLC outfits, that's a thing. But I didn't really think much of it. But now it's just like, now that they're a thing, and we get to see more of them, I want to see even more of them, because their first impressions have been quite strong. But anyway, right, so Riona's up next, huh? Well, let's add our weapon. Oh, uh, what am I feeling this time? Well, we used... The spray gun, the grenade launcher. Let's give the shotgun a whirl again. This may go poorly though, but we'll just have to see. Right, so, Yuyaki, she's taking one thing after another. I know she's angry with me, but now she's causing so much trouble for her others. Also, she hasn't given her crow a name, right? Like, it's just known as crow? At least that's what I think it has. Huh. Anyway, Crawl of Shinies, episode 3. Keep doing it. Defeat Riona. Uh, I would say a lot. ついていますね。ああ、ちょっと。でも気持ちいいよ。りょうなさん。あ、ゆうきちゃん。どうしたの?りょうなちゃん、今忙しいんだけど。私の友達がご迷惑を。Oh, <laughs> the explosion was so close! And yes, yeah, she knows Riona too! So, New Wave does seem to be canon! How <laughs> did we get it localized? No! <laughs> does that mean that New Wave actually had a story? Oh. Well, maybe there's somewhere that I can go to to look up things in relation to characters. If anybody knows of any place, please let me know. Because I've been on the wiki before, and that didn't really have much to offer when it came to the characters. Other than, well, things like their personality and whatnot. Which I could already gather here. Because by Yuyaki's profile alone, she seems, well, relatively soft-spoken. But she seems to have a duality to her that's yet to be uncovered. And that part I'm looking forward to. If it ever surfaces. Because it seems to... <laughs> it 
so almost like as if I have a fig for characters with two sides to them. Anyway, huh? guess what? There was like Ryoki and Estefo, and then there's another character and a recent title that I've been yeah. getting into. Oh, they're not so much right now. But I'm sure some people might know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Actually, yeah, they both have like really cutesy sides to them. Huh. Yeah. At least they're not like a yandere, gosh. Not too big on those. Yeah. Well, how much damage have we done to you, woman? Are you the hard-bodied Riona? I know you're a masochist, but still. <laughs> And that the shotgun maze will be a wet noodle as far as I'm concerned in this game. Take the puppers! No! Don't go after the goods, you goof! Ah! You done deadly goof! And go away, you bat! Meh! Which maybe Homer's fireball will be good here. Oh no! Oh! Splash? More like slash? Okay, at least that's more realistic than six swords. And yeah, you really haven't given it a name! What, by cutting up a masochist? Hmm. <laughs> I'm the leader because I cut up a cute masochist. Riona would love that treatment. <laughs> In particular. Alright, let's see. Not something new, but quite nice nonetheless. Whole bunch of pet and weapon guards, though, but that's these packs in a nutshell. Right. Oh gosh, an episode 4 already? And there's hardly been any Lil! Oh! I wanted to see more of her as well! Guess this one's just more so focused on Yuyaki. Right, so what weapon this time? I bet I'll have fun with the shotgun. And the grenade and the spray gun. Oh! Hmm. Let's whip out the rocket launcher. Yeah. And read this out. Yuyaki, so is Shiki chasing after the crow. Did the crow take something of hers too? Wait, so it's a shiny fabric. Like, I, I was going to say it would be an accessory because typical valley girl things, but it's a fabric though. Huh. Guess we'll just have to find out. Maybe it's like a glossy bra. <laughs> I don't know. Right, Cruel of Shinies, Episode 4, Embarrassing Fabric, Defeat Shiki. Oh gosh! Oh no! Cease and desist! Oh gosh, I'm doing poorly right now! Wait, she's wet already? How? What made you so wet, woman? Oh gosh, we only just got her to half health. Well, good thing I healed up. Hey. Right. So you're telling me that this girl is able to carry? Right. A brooch, six swords, a tiara, and whatever this fabric may be. I can't. I, I just want to know how. If you if you remember the swords from the equation, sure. <laughs> it's just the dangerous blades. Like what if you drop them or cut yourself, you bud? And, and it needs a name. Don't call it to name it though. 
I, I was gonna say something like Joffrey, but it, it's a it's a girl, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to name the bat. Then again, we're hardly gonna get to see it. We're all hearing of it, <laughs> so. <laughs> right. Oh, you're invisible. You sneaky, sneaky person. You take that. We we abuse that Tanuki real good. Oh, I really want to finish her off with a melee attack. Let's go. Oh, no. Right, come on. Hey! Okay. Oh! Maybe it's wearing the shorts and the tiara. Maybe that's how I was able to carry all of this. Yes. We'll go with that. Unless it maybe took like some rounds and I don't know, laid it all out on a nest. Either way, th th this bird is very strong when it comes to his uh, lifting capacity. Oh, that's a new Saki, an army themed one of all the things in Baby and Camouflage. Look at that's pretty cute. I see you there, Pepe. You creepy cute bear. Right, so the last one, a sudden switch. Hmm. Oh, we get to place Leo now. Huzzah! Right. So let's read her profile. Do -do 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 -do. Leo, a second year student, a wealthy celebrity, and the leader of the Zodiac Star Command. Oh, she sounds like Little Miss Perfect over here. Her leadership and organizational skills are both exceptional, but some things can fly over her head. Despite her best efforts to stay calm all the time. Okay, so she's not flawless. I'm thankful for that. I'm not too fond of, well, what I would like to call Phil and Mary Sue characters. She sounds almost like one, though. But maybe I could make it an exception for her deep, sultry voice alone. <laughs> Poss- not fully decide, okay? Right, so... Actually, should, should we just stick with the Gatling gun? I already had a, a Kafru set up for her. I haven't really tried it out too much, though. Yeah, let's try it out. Do, 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 do. So let's read this out. Leo, I can't wait any longer. I'll take that brooch back myself. So she's only back for the finale? Ow! I wanted to see more of her. Maybe Soji will get some decent treatment. Because Yaki certainly got a decent chunk, all things considered. Right, so Cruel of Shinies Episode 5, A Sudden Switch. Let's go! Three, two, one. ここまで人に迷惑をかけるなんて友達ながら悲しいです。私も覚悟を決めました。倒す覚悟で参ります。言うやつだ。あなたは武器を手にすると。てめえ、この鳥子が、この俺に逆らうなんて。Okay, I really like that duality to Yayaki. And I also really like the reloaded cards of the Gatling gun. Holy moly, I should have been trying this out a bit more. It just goes so quick! Can I get another reloading card, please? I guess not. Oh, well. Can I square these down regardless? Uh, can, why 
can she have shot that side a bit more frequently? Did you really need a blade in your hand all the time for that to pop up? I guess that's just the trigger, though, eh? <laughs> oh, what the reward card! Catherine, why are you not appear? Okay, now she's gonna appear. But is it gonna be in time, though? Because this might be the last wave. So I guess all the reloading is without. But then you're like, yeah, and. And you just do that, so it's just like, whoop. So nice! Man, I thought that was the Gatling Gun reloading speed baseline, huh? Oh, well, that was the last one! <laughs> Oh yes, because these were just some goods! We didn't even get a squirt down a person with Leo! Just some goods! Bah! Actually, they weren't even people goons, they were robo goons as well. With some reluctance, she gives up her latest hoard of stolen goods. A gold bridge, swords, a tiara, a pair of shorts, shiny, all of it! Again, I want to know how this thing managed it. Does it have like a pocket dimension or something? <laughs> Even as I ask, the answer comes to me. <laughs> Oh, this is a really cute CG! I like it! The girl gives me a quick nod. お気持ちは嬉しいです。でも、人のものを取ったらダメですよ。さあ、これからみんなに。the crow's victims each accept our apology. Wait, your pants? No, 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 that's what I said he'd like, right? It, it, an, it wasn't actually her panties. No, 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 no. They are almost gracious indeed, except for Riona. What happened to her? I, in turn, apologize for lashing out. <laughs> the crow shakes her head. She and I are both still lacking in some respects. That's why I wish to stay beside her. That we might help each other grow. <laughs> oh, I had the button. Oh, okay, it just fades out. Oh, but please appear at seven. Takaki, <laughs> please, at these law and. I know they won't get into burst renewal unless if well they're making an exception like with Yumi. But seven please. Oh, what's the ultra rare? Oh, something we already have. Of course, because I have had a bunch of these packs. But that's a really nice Ikaruga one though. Huh. Now Shran 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 maiden uniform, yes. With all this little bits of Sandy that we got, though, since I was relatively we broke the four, I think we could buy some packs to hit this off with. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some Nazlook. And maybe get something new. From the... What was it? PPS packs, I believe? Let's find out. Okay, your appearance is very fake. I wasn't expecting to get you on random. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, there's the PBS ones. Let's get... Well, we get six of them, just to see what we get. Because, 
Wait, we got some the last time. We got a bunch of Ryokis, but they were all dupes. Although I did get a new Ryoki off screen. Oh, well, these are all dupes. If I get anything more than five star, I'm just going to hit the circle button on. Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, a new Kafiru! Hey! A Sakura variant, too. Oh, that's adorbs. Right, so circle button S, since the rest will be dupes. Yaki yeah, gave me good luck. Okay, rest will be dupes. Oh, 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 what, what are you? That's a dupe. That's not a dupe. Oh, yeah, I should go all three of the Mikagra sisters, huh? In one pack. A bunch of Kafaru, though. Right, what's in this one? Nope, nothing new here. No, thank you, Yuyaki. Actually, how many more memorial medals do we need for... Okay. So that would be three more Paradise episodes then. Before we could do that. But we'll do one more previous pack. Yeah. Maybe we could get lucky. Well, that's pretty lucky. That's not as lucky, though. <laughs> I jinxed it! It was just another dip Kafiru! <laughs> Alrighty then, folks! Thank y'all for watching this episode of Senren Kakura Peach Peach Splash! And I'll see you next time with some more life and hometown. Ta-ta for now.